Good morning. Good morning. Common ground. Common ground. Good morning. Good morning. We're still around. We're still around. Mr. Josh. Miss Jeanette. Miss Liz. And Miss LJ. We're gonna do calendar and maybe learn about the moon and maybe learn our letters and sing a lot and play. And math also. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Common Ground. Penny Dog and I are so happy to see you today. All right, guys, we were thinking today is towards the end of our week. So let's go ahead and sing our Days of the Week song. Oh, Penny doesn't like the guitar. Let's sing our Days of the Week song and then we'll get our calendar out. What do you guys think? All right. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Alright guys, so that's our Days of the Week song and yesterday was Wednesday. So let's get our calendar out and let's figure out what today is. So yesterday was Wednesday right here. We have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Today is Thursday. Let's cross off Wednesday. Boop. Today is Thursday, July 16th. I think it's going to be a great day. What do you guys think? Well, a great day always has a song from Mr. Josh. So here he is. Oh, hi everybody. This is Mr. Josh back again for another round of the Common Ground Rock of the Blocks concert series. Today we're gonna to be doing a very fun song. This is Happy Me Know It. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray! Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray! Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, if you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, shout hooray! Hooray! Now here's the fun part, we gotta do all three. Are you ready, Miss Jeanette? I'm ready, are you? I'm ready. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Stop, stop, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Thank you, everybody. I just love that Mr. Josh music. Up next, we have, oh, can you hear Penny Dog? She's squeaking her toy. She's gonna bring it over to us. Come on, Penny Dog, come on. Oh, maybe not. She's just gonna squeak. Well, up next, we have a song. Sorry, we have a story from Miss Victoria. Oh, come on, Penny Dog. Penny Dog wants to hear the story. So. Here's Miss Victoria with a story. Here's on, okay? Berenstain Bears Lend a Helping Hand by Stan and Jan Berenstain. Some cubs are helpful, some cubs are not. Show them the way and they may take a shot. Mama and Papa Bear were like most parents. They wanted the best for their cubs. Brother and sister were like most cubs. They wanted the best for themselves. And not only the best, but the biggest and the most as well. The best place in front of the TV? Move over. No, you move over. The biggest piece of cake? I'll take that one. Oh no, I'll take that one. And the most jelly beans? I've got the most. No, I've got the most. One night when the squabbling cubs were sound asleep, 
Mama lay awake worrying. She sighed a big sigh. What a sigh, asked Papa, turning over. Or just the wind whistling through the leaves of our house. We've got to find a way of teaching brother and sister to mend their selfish ways, she said. Do you have any suggestions? But was Papa's only suggestion. He had fallen asleep, leaving Mama alone with her thoughts. I've got to find a way, thought Mama, to teach them that it's just as important to help others as it is to help themselves. But lecturing hasn't worked, nagging hasn't worked, having Papa talk to them seems to do only more harm than good. As Mama lay there, she thought about the, how the cubs learn. Cubs learn by doing. They learn by walking. They learn to run by running. They learn to climb by climbing. That's the answer, she thought. The cubs will learn by helping others. But questions of who, when, where, and what went unanswered as she drifted off to sleep. As it happened, those questions would soon be answered. The who turned out to be Ms. McGriz the elderly widow who lived just down the road. The when turned out to be the very next day and the where turned out to be at the checkout line at the supermarket. Hello, Ms. Miss Grizz, said Mama as she emptied her card into the checkout counter. Hello yourself, said Ms. Miss Grizz. How are you and yours? Just fine, said Mama. Some of mine are over here looking at videos. Cubs say hello to our neighbor. Hi, Ms. McGriz, said brother and sister. The cubs were a little nervous about Ms. McGriz. She was really old, even older than Gramps and Gran. The kind of, and kind of bent over when she walked. And there was a crooked cane she used when she walked. But the real reason they were nervous about her was their ball had gone into her yard and knocked over some tulips and they'd never apologized. When Mama and the cubs were loading their groceries into the car, Ms. McGriz came out of the cart pushing her little collapsible shopping cart. Where are you going, called Mama. To the bus stop, she said. The bus goes right by my house. So does our car, said Mama. Cubs, help Ms. McGriz into the car and put her things in the trunk. That's very kind, said Ms. McGriz, as sister helped her into the car. My goodness, she added as brother put her things in the trunk. It must be wonderful to have such helpful cubs. Yes, it is, said Mama, as she started the car, most of the time. It certainly would be wonderful for me. Oh, said Mama. When the cubs realized they were being talked about, they leaned forward to hear better. Yes, said Ms. McGriz. I need help with, I need a little help with something. By now, brother and sister were leaning so far forward that their seat belts were pulling at them. Hmm, thought Mama. Maybe this is the chance I've been looking for, the chance for brother and sister to learn to help others. I wonder, says Ms. McGriz, and this is just a thought, but perhaps wonder if brother and sister could find the time to help me clean my attic. It's an awful mess. I'd pay them, of course. Brother and sister looked at each other. They didn't say anything, but their expressions spoke volumes. Help Ms. McGriz clean her attic? What about soccer? What about listening to records with Lizzie? What about playing video games with cousin Fred? Well, I for one think that's a wonderful idea, said Mama. Cubs, how does next Saturday sound? She pulled the car close to Ms. McGriz's house. Next Saturday, said the Cubs? Then it's a deal, said Mama. Hop to it, Cubs. Help Miss McGriz get her things into the house. As the Cubs helped, they saw the next Saturday slipping away in the dusty haze of a miserable, boring old attic. When they were about to head home, Mama turned to Ms. McGriz. As for paying brother and sister, she said, they wouldn't think of accepting money for being nice to a neighbor. When the cub complains to Papa about Ms. McGriz's attic, it turned out that he was even more enthusiastic about it than the idea to Mama. Cubs, I'm proud of you. I think it's a grand idea to help volunteer and help your poor Ms. McGriz clean her attic. But Papa, we didn't exactly volunteer, said, Mom, said brother in a small voice. Nevertheless, said Papa, it's a wonderful thing that you're doing. I think you may find it interesting. You never know what you might find in an old lady's attic. Brother plugged... There we go. Careful now, Ms. McGriz. These steps are rather rickety. It was Saturday morning and the cubs were following her up to the attic. 
When they reached the top of the steps, brother and sister just stared for a moment. Well, here we are, said Ms. McGrizz. And there they were indeed. A strange feeling came over the cubs as they looked at the piles of old things. It was as if they had walked into the middle of her whole life. There was a dressmaker's dummy with half a dress pinned to it. There were old magazines. There was an amazing ship in a bottle. Wow, said brother. It's all about the rigging. That was my late husband's hobby, explained Ms. McGrizz. What's this, asked sister. A radio, of course, Ms. McGrizz said. A radio? It looks like a little cathedral. Do you think it still plays, asked brother. Let's plug it in and find out. Brother plugged it in and turned it on. Music came pouring out of the strange old radio. Rock music. As the cubs started listening to the rock music coming out of the radio that looked like a th cathedral, they had the funniest feeling about how time works. It went back into the past and forward into the future, but now it's in the present and they had work to do. Papa was right. Ms. McGrath's attic was kind of interesting. Ms. McGrath's organized two really big boxes. One was marked throwaway and one was marked keepers. You know, said brother, we're going to have to have a system if we're ever going to get this job done, Ms. McGrath agreed. Here's what they did. They sat Ms. McGrath in a comfy old chair and brought things for her to decide about. Then she looked at each thing and she said, keep it or chuck it. But as the morning went on, the cubs began to worry. It seemed brother and sister that she was chucking some pretty interesting things and they were beginning to get an idea. It was just before lunch when the cubs found some really interesting things. What's this, Ms. McGrizz? asked sister. It looks like a really old Barbie doll. A really, really, really old Barbie doll. That's what it is, she said. It's the original Barbie I had when I was a cub. And then brother found some old, a box of old papers. It was baseball cards. I can hardly believe my eyes. This looks like a Babe Bruin rookie card. That's probably what it is, says Ms. McGrizz. My late husband was a big Babe Bruin fan. After lunch in the attic, the cubs told her of idea. There's a lot of great stuff up here you shouldn't throw away. But what should I do with it, she asked. Have a garage sale, said sister. Goodness, says old Ms. McGrizz. I don't know about that. I don't have a garage. You have a yard, don't you? Said brother. We could have a yard sale. And that's what happened. Mom and Papa pitched in and helped. The very next Saturday, Ms. McGrizz had some of the most successful yard sales ever held in the neighborhood. Ms. McGrizz appreciated the Cubs' help very much and wanted to pay them something. But Mama still wouldn't hear of it. She didn't allow them to accept gifts. However, she did allow them to accept gifts, however. Ms. McGrizz gave sister the original Barbie doll that she had when she was a Cub and gave Brother Bear the Babe Bruin card. Wow, said sister. Double wow, said brother. The end. The end. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Victoria. You're welcome. Honey dog, did you like that story? I did too. All right, guys. Wait, what's that penny dog? Oh, she wants a song for Mr. Josh. So here's Mr. Josh, you guys. Hi, kids. Mr. Josh back here again for another installment of the Common Ground Rock of the Blocks concert series. Today, we're doing another very fun Raffi song. This one is called Down by the Bay. You ready? Let's get started. Down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go, for if I do, my mother would say. Did you ever see a goose kissing a moose? Down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow. See a bear combing his hair down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow. Back to my home, I dare not go. For oh, if I do, my mother would say. Did you ever see a whale with a polka dot tail? Down by the bay, down by the bay. Wearing a tie belt Down by the bay, down by the bay
ever have a time when you couldn't make a rhyme? Stand by the bay. Bye, everybody. Did you love that song, Penny Dog? Me too. Uh, what's that? Oh, Penny Dog wants to know what the weather's like. So let's check the window. What's the weather like today? Can we go outside and play? All right, we've got partly cloudy skies. Do you guys see that? There's a chance of rain this morning, but it's gonna be a great day to spend a lot of time outside. And it's not raining right now, so you wanna go outside? I know Penny Dog wants to go out and so do I. But here's one more song from Mr. Josh and then we'll be right back. Hi everybody, Mr. Josh back here again for another installment of the Common Ground Rock at the Blocks concert series. Today, we're doing a very fun song. We're doing Five Little Monkeys Jumping on the Bed, but we're gonna do a rock and roll version. Just how I like it. All right, you guys ready? Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. loved that song from Mr. Josh and Penny Dog and I thought that we would sing you one more and then leave you with another one. So I've got my mask right here and that's one way that I can help make sure that I keep people safe and, uh, and care about my community. The other way is by doing this. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Washy, 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 wash your hands, wash your hands. So don't forget everybody, wash those hands. Here's Mr. Josh and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Hi everybody, this is Josh, here for the Common Ground Rock the Blocks concert series, and today we're doing a very special song by a very special person named Raffi. This is Baby Beluga. Baby Beluga in the deep blue sea, swims so wild and he swims so free. Having the above and see below And a little white whale on the go Baby beluga Baby beluga Is the water warm? Is your mama home with you so happy? Way down yonder where the dolphins play Where you dive and splash all day The waves roll in and the waves roll out See the water skirt and now the earth
when it's dark, you're home in bed. Go down snug in your water bed. The stars are shining and the moon is out. Good night, little whale. Good night, baby beluga, baby beluga. When tomorrow's sun, another day's begun. You'll soon be waiting. Thank you, everybody.